Today we are going to learn about how to do the fantastic body wave in the zook and also the variation snake with the partner. We are going to do that in the closing brace and also the open position so that you will be able to have fun in the music. I'm Helen Avler. Welcome to my channel and I also invited my good friend Alice to help so it will be very fun. Watch until the end. And let's get started. We are going to first show you the whole sequence in the music and then we will break it down. <laughs> the music that you don't know what to do because there is no beat and then you can step because it's weird to step like that and you look at your partner and think like what the hell am I going to do <laughs> so today we're going to solve this problem for you giving you these two amazing movements that you you can use all the time that there is no beat yes so pay attention to me and let's get started we're going to start with the closing brace and directly with two body waves. So it will be like this. Ball, chick, chick, ball, chick again, ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick. Great. Remember that about the details of the body wave and the snake, we have other videos talking about this and the link is below. So make sure to check it out too. And let's continue. So about the wave, how does it work while we dance with the partner? First thing is that if we want to do body weight with close position like this, it's better that we have a little distance between us. So leader, we told you that we can have a closing brace very close to each other. We can keep a little distance. And this moment, while you decide to do the body weight, it's better that you keep a little distance between, between your partner because both of us, we are going to do the body weight to the front and to the back. So we need some space between us. Okay, and the second thing is that about our foot, we talk about that while we are doing body wave, it's better that we make our one of our foot in front and the other in the back because this way, while we are doing the wave to the front and to the back, it's more easier to have balance. So, while you decide to do the body wave, you will put your right foot a little in front, and while followers see this, uh, he or she will like to put foot in front too. Okay, so. Think of this. The third thing we are going to talk about the indication of the body weight. Remember that the main part of the indication will be our own body. While we are doing the weight, our partner can feel that and want to imitate the same thing that we are doing. Okay? So remember that you have to do your weight. And also the other things that our hand can help. So while you are bringing your chest to the front, you are going to bring closer with your hand, while you are bringing your chest to the back, you are going to be releasing your hand to the back. So while you are trying to do this, you can have a great indication of the wave, okay? Because your hand is indicating the move that the follower is going to do. And about follower? Follower, as Helen told, you can see what, you, what your leader is doing. So if you see your leader doing a body wave, you try to follow the movement. And the other way of knowing the, the move is that hand that's making some pressure on your back some pressure and releasing your back so you don't know if you should go there or there okay so understanding about this let's try to do this again let's do twice body wave okay directly so we do ball chick chick ball chick again ball chick chick ball chick chick great other things for you to pay attention. Follow. When you learn some different move like the body wave, 
uh, you may be a little excited about it because I it's like nice. to start in my yeah <laughs> because it's a nice move and it's different. So maybe it could happen that you try to do it very big, uh, occupating a lot of space, and that's a little bit of a problem. Why is that? Because if I'm trying to do the body wave and do like this, oh my god. I'm invading my, my leader's uh, space and I'm doing a big bad push to my leader and uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable so you may think uh, you are doing something great but if you invade this space it won't be that nice ask me how I know that <laughs> so you try to, to see and to feel the space that you have and you try to do your own body wave in the size that you that your leader is indicating and you want to do but you will try to do that without squeezing or pushing or pulling your leader okay so take your own space to do your own body wave in your own balance great the same thing to our leaders okay so we are also not going to do a body wave too big that invade the space of the follower it doesn't make sense we are going to indicate a wave and we are also going to feel the space to do a body wave within this space okay the other thing is that not every follower has the same size of the body wave some follower would like to do a body wave a little bigger some follower couldn't or don't like so while you are indicating the body wave you will feel the the body of your partner on your hand so while you feel that oh your partner is like doesn't like to do this body weight that much you won't force it okay you will try to follow also the body of your follower so it will be very comfortable with both of us so for example if Alice doesn't want to do the body weight that much maybe he or she will indicate me a smaller body weight which is also very okay so try to think of this try to think of feeling the body of your partner too let's do this Two body wave again. So we do ball, chick, chick, ball, chick again, ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick. Great. And now we are going to continue after the body wave. We are going to do the basic step. Leader, you are going to do the basic step with your left to the back and follow right to the front. So we do ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick. Great. And now we are going to open the space get into the step of the lap tail move so it will be like this ball chick chick remember that we have other videos talking about this connection of basic step and lap tail move okay so if you have any doubts check it out the link is below so let's continue we are going to do lap tail move from this point to the both sides so we do ball chick chick ball chick chick and now we are going to do a preparation to do another body wave with the open position okay so let's do it we are going to do like this we do ball chick chick what do we do first about the leader okay the first step you are going to step your right to your right ball and then you are going to step your left a little to the front getting onto the followers line and also as you can see i point my left foot a little to our left too and the third step you are going to turn your body to your follower and step back like this so the three steps will be like this your weight is on your left and you do ball chick chick so in the end you will be facing in front of your follower let's do these three steps again so we are here weight is on our left and we do ball chick chick great and about follower Follow your next three steps will be a lateral step, a normal lateral step, starting with your left leg. So it's going to be like this. Boom, chick, chick. And remember to turn your body to your leader because Helen was there first when we are doing normal lateral and now she's here. So I won't finish there. I'll finish to my leader. Great, so think of this, let's do this again. So we are here with our hand connected and we do ball, chick, chick. Great. And now we are in front of each other. We are going to do another body wave. So it will be like this. Ball, chick, chick, ball, 
Chick, chick. Great. And how does it work? First, for the leader, how do we indicate this body weight from the open position? First thing, you have to remember that the main indication will be of your own body. You will do the wave to show that you are going to indicate a wave to your follower. Okay? But your hand can help. So, how does it work? You will have to give a little intention to your follower to the front. So, you have to push a little. No, you have to pull a little your hand to you. So, it will be like this. Bo, chik, chik. Bo, chik, chik. But remember that you don't have to pull a lot because it's not ideal. You do this little indication is to indicate. is to show that, oh, you want to have a body weight. It's not a many you really want to pull your follower, okay? So remember this. And about follower? Follower, um, you are going to feel this indication a little bit to your front, okay? And how do you know that you're going to do a wave and not another step? You, you know that you are not going to step because you have no space. Your leader is right in front of you. So you have to respond uh, the leading with something else, which in this case is the body wave. So we're going a little bit front without stepping. Great. So also while the follower is seeing that leader is doing a body wave, he or she would like to follow. Okay? So think of this. Let's do this body wave again. So we do bo, chik, chik, bo, chik, chik. Great. After the body wave, we are going to do another variation of body wave, which is snake directly from this point. So it will be like this. Bo, chik, chik, bo, chik, chik. And how does it work? First, for the leader, the same thing as always. We will try to indicate mainly with our body. We are doing the snake and follower will see that we'll want to follow. But our hand could help. So uh, how we indicate with our hand? First, to indicate that you want the follower to do the snake from the head. You can do this move, okay? To bring down a little follower's hand like this. So it could be an indication for follower that, oh, I will start with my head, okay? And also the same thing, you are going to bring down a little the follower's hand and push a little to yourself so that follower will have intention to bring her body to the front. Okay, but remember that you don't need to do that very much. You have to indicate mainly with your body. Okay, and about follower. Exactly. And follower, if you see that your leader is doing this head movement, you know that you, can, you have the time and the move to do the same. You will try to follow. And also, you may feel that little moving to your head. That can also indicate in Zook that you can use your head. And what's the difference between the normal wave and the, the snake? Um, the snake starts with your head. So first your head goes and then you do the wave. <laughs> and something important here. Uh, you are seeing that your leader is using the head front. So take a, a little care to not uh, go head to head <laughs> because it will hurt. So if we see that the other person is doing the head, we're not going directly in that, that direction. We try to do a little bit from the side. Yes, so both of us, we will try to, while we are doing the snake, we will try to bring our head a little, okay, slightly to our left to adapt, okay, to do with the partner. So think of these details. Let's do the snake again. So we are here and we do bow. Chik, chik, bo, chik, chik. The other thing is that while the follower is going back, leader, you have to release a little your hand following the body of the follower. Because if you keep your hand like this, the follower won't be able to do the snake or, or, or maybe the, the body weight to the back. Okay, so think of this. Let's do this snake again. So we are here and we do bo, chik, chik, bo, chik, chik. Great. And now, finishing the snack, we are going to bring up our body doing a reverse wave. So, how does it work? It will be like this. Bo, chik, chik, bo, chik, chik. So, what do we do? First, for the leader to indicate this, the same thing. We will mainly indicate with our body. We are going to do a wave going up. So, 
the father will see that. And also, our hand can help. How does it work? We can bring a little our hand up so that the father will feel, oh, have a clear idea that I'm going up with the weight. Okay, so about follower. Follower, how do you know that you are going to do a wave from here up and not the normal one that we did? Well, uh, the feeling of the indication in your hand is a little different because your hand now is going up. It's different from going front, okay? So you feel that probably clearly and you also are seeing that your leader is here and the leader is doing this movement. So you can try to follow visually too. Great. So thinking about this, both of us, let's do this wave going up again. So we are here, finishing the snake, and we do bo, chi, chi, bo, chi, chi. Great. And now, finishing this wave going up, we are going to come back to a lateral move. So it will be like this. Bo, chi, chi, bo, chi, chi. So what do we do? So first, we are here, finish the wave going up, and the leader, the next three steps, you are going to step your left to the front, bo, and cheek cheek about the place and turn your body to your right. So it will be like this. Cheek cheek. So the three steps will be like this. Bo, cheek cheek. So after the steps, you are going to face in front of the line of the follower. And you also step out of the line of the follower. Okay? And the follower. Follower, you are going to do lateral step. The next three steps, starting with your right. So it's going to be like this. Boom, chick, chick. You know that you have space here, and that's why you are going to step in the front. You have indication, but now your leader is not anymore in front of you, so you can step. Great. So think of this. Let's do this three steps again. We finish the wave going up, and we do ball, chick, chick. Great. And now we are going to do the lateral up to the both sides. So we do ball, chick. Chick, ball, chick, chick. And now we are going to get back to the basic step. So it will be like this. Ball, chick, chick. We, we close the space. We get in front of the follower. And then we are going to do the basic step. So we do ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick. Great. So now you know the whole sequence. Let's do it again. Let's get started with the two body wave. So we do bo, chi, chi, bo, chi again, bo, chi, chi, bo, chi, basic step, bo, chi, chi, bo, chi, open space, bo, chi, chi, back it out, chi, chi, bo, chi, chi, get onto the line, and wave, chi, chi, bo, chi, snake, bo, chi, chi, bo, chi, going up, bo, chi, chi, bo, Chick lateral, ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick, get onto the line, and basic step, ball, chick, chick, ball, chick, chick. Great, let's do it one more time. So we are here, and we do ball, chick, chick, 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 ball. Chick, chick, ball, 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 chick, chick. Great, let's go into the music. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. 
below and leave me a comment. Tell me what kind of move or technique of Zook that you would like to learn. And also share with your friend who would like to learn Zook together with you. And if you want to see more my dancing video, follow me on my Instagram. I have new videos every week. And also if this is the first time on the channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get notified every single time when I release a new video. Thanks a lot and see you in next video.